Now, the days of the week, I wouldn't be a good teacher if I didn't at least give you some explanation of those as I'm teaching you the days of the week. So get ready to copy these down, and I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about them as well. So Monday in Spanish is lunes. Try to say lunes. Now, lunes comes uh, from the word in the Latin meaning the day honoring Luna, or the goddess of the moon. So, just to give you a quick uh, introduction to these, in ancient Rome, different days honored various gods and goddesses, and uh, this one was the day that honored the moon god or goddess. And when actually uh, the Roman Empire fell in the 400s AD, and then the individual countries became their own countries, uh, they were speaking Latin in many of those territories. And of course, over hundreds of years, that Latin changed into what we now know as Spanish because language is always changing, always changing. Even our language today is always changing. So over the years, that luna dies, meaning day back then, converted and it became lunes, what we know as lunes now, Monday. And so Tuesday in Spanish is martes, martes. And Martes was the day honoring Mars, the god of war. So this was, uh, this was a god that they feared a little bit. And then Wednesday was, is called Miércoles. This is a big word, and sometimes we kind of look at it and say, oh, how do you say that? But just sound it out. Remember, get those vowels out of your toolbox. mi er co les Miércoles. And look what that accent is. That's where you stress it. Miércoles. And Miércoles was the day honoring Mercury, the messenger of the gods. And they said he had wings on his helmet and his feet. And the next one is Jueves. Remember how that J sounds, Jueves. And Jueves was the day where they honored Jove or Jupiter, as we would know him now. And he, in Roman mythology, was the father or the king of the gods. And then we move into Friday, which was, is now Viernes. Viernes, remember that V sounds like a B almost, Viernes. And Viernes was in the in Roman times the day that honored Venus, the goddess of love. So I will put uh, the others over here, Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday in Spanish now is Sabado. Now we got that accent there. It's three syllables, so normally we would stress that middle in sabado, but the accent comes in and says, I'm changing the rules. I want you to say the first syllable. It's stronger. So we're going to say sabado, because the accents are, they're in charge. They can come in and change the rules. And then finally, Sunday is domingo. Domingo. And domingo, uh, Saturday, I should go back and tell you, Saturday was the day that honored the uh, Saturn, the god of harvest and agriculture. And Domingo was actually originally Sol, Solis Dia, the day honoring the sun god, but later was converted into Dominus, which is the Latin word for the Christian god. So we actually get this one differently uh, from a different direction later on. Domingo coming from Dominus, meaning the Christian god. So, so here are the days of the week in Spanish. Now, we're going to move into the months of the year. We're going to put those on the screen for you. And then we're going to start putting the seasons in with that and start being able to talk about the seasons and the months with our weather words. Now let's put those months of the year up for you. You'll notice a lot of them look just almost like they do in English with slight differences. The biggest difference is with January. So let's go ahead and start with January. Now in Spanish, January is enero. Enero. February is febrero, febrero, March, marzo, marzo, April, abril, abril, and May is mayo, mayo, June, junio, junio. In July is Julio, Julio. August, notice August does not have a U in it. It's just A-G-O. It's Agosto, Agosto. Now for September, it looks a lot like English, but we're going to add an I in there. 
And it's going to have RE instead of ER. It's septiembre. Septiembre. October. Notice it's O C T U, not O. Octubre. Octubre. November. Again, we're going to put an I in there and flip the last two letters. Noviembre. Noviembre. And finally, December. Notice it's D-I, not D-E. Diciembre. Diciembre. Okay. Now that we have our days of the week and our months of the year, and of course you learned numbers a while back, I want, to put, I want to put together all these things and help you learn how to write dates or state dates in Spanish. So, what we're going to do to state a date in Spanish, we already know how to say uh, the day of the week. And so if I wanted to say, for example, today is Monday, I could just simply say today is Monday by literally translating it to hoy. Hoy is today in Spanish. Es lunes. Hoy es lunes. And that's simply how we say the days of the week. So, how would you say today is Wednesday? Hoy es miércoles. Hoy es miércoles. Now, you can do that for all the days of the week. But what happens when you want to say specifically the date? Okay, now when somebody says what day is today, they're going to say, que día es hoy. What day is today? Que día es hoy. They want you to tell them the day. But if they say, cual es la Fecha, cual es la fecha? They're asking you what is the date specifically, and here's how we do that. We say today is by saying hoy es. Now we have a little structure we follow anytime we state dates. First of all, we're going to say the, and then we're going to say the number, and then we're going to say the word of, which is de, and then we're going to say the month. So let's take, for example, if, if we wanted to say today is March 3rd, we would say today is the 3 of March. The 3 of March, okay? If I wanted to say it's June 10th, I would say not 10th, I would say 10. The 10 of June. The 10 of June. So that's our structure for putting it in Spanish. So let's go back to uh, March the 3rd. Today is the 3 of March. So, and we know there's four ways to say the. We're going to use el, the singular masculine form, because days are masculine. So we're going to say el. Now we're going to just say the number. Remember, we don't say the third, we just say the three. So, hoy es el tres. Now we're going to say of, de, and then simply we just put march, which is marzo. Okay. So, hoy es, today is, el 3 de marzo. Now, let's try that other example we did a minute ago. Today is the 10 of June. June 10th is the 10 of June. So, let's try that one. So, how are we going to say today is? Hoy es. Now, again, we're going to say the 10 of June. So, what's the? El 10 of is de. And then we're going to say junio. Junio. Let me get you to try one on your own real quick. Let's say today is the 28th of July. Okay, today is, would be hoy es the 28th, el 28th of July, de Julio. Let me give you one more. Today is February 27th. Okay, so today is, hoy es the 27, el 27 of February de Febrero. Now, I want to ask you a question right now, and that is this. Cuando es tu cumpleaños? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? You might be saying, I don't know what cumpleaños means. Well, cuando means when is your birthday. Cuando es tu cumpleaños? So, you're going to say, my birthday is, mi cumpleaños es. Now, I want you to try to state, my birthday is, and put the whole thing in one big sentence in Spanish. Go. Give it a shot. Okay. 
Okay, so my birthday is, mi cumpleaños es, and I have to give it away, mine is actually March 3rd, that's why I use it. So my birthday is the 3 of March. Mi cumpleaños es el 3 de marzo. Good, now that's, a, that's another little phrase you can throw into your conversation there in Spanish next time you're speaking to a new friend. Okay, so now we have the days, we have the months, we have the seasons. And the last bit of new information I want to give to you today during our class time is the seasons of the year. So I want to put these on the screen for you so you can see how they're spelled. Some people have, find the spelling a little bit tricky with a couple of these words, so I want you to get a really good visual of what these look like. So let's start with winter time, beginning of the year. So winter in Spanish is el invierno. El invierno. Now, moving into springtime is la primavera. La primavera. And we're getting a little bit hotter into the summertime is el verano. El verano. And then finally, fall is el otoño. El otoño. Okay. Now, be careful when you're learning to spell those because sometimes we like to confuse. I've found people like to confuse summer and winter. And sometimes we add an I in the verano and, and get it confused with Friday, viernes. And so, so work on that and get those phrases down, those words down. Now, now let's go into uh, putting all this together. Uh, how would we state weather in a particular country, in a particular time of year? Uh, we'll use it Bolivia as an example. I love Bolivia. I've been there many times. I have friends there. But one thing I always notice is I go down during the summertime, usually when I'm not teaching, and what I find is that in June in Bolivia, it's cold. It's really cold. At night, it gets down to 30s and 40s. And of course, in the daytime, it raises back up to the high 60s or 70s. Uh, but how would we say in June, it's cold? In Bolivia. So we'll just start it out by saying in Bolivia. You know how to say in is en, e n. So in Bolivia, in the summer, en el verano, it's cold. Hace frío. Okay, now let's give you another one to think about. In Bolivia, in December, it's hot. Now, we're not going to say very hot, muy calor. We have to say it makes a lot of hot, mucho calor, okay? So, in Bolivia, in Bolivia, see, in December, right, en diciembre, it makes a lot of hot. It's very hot. Hace mucho calor. Good. So we're really being, uh, starting to learn how to put a lot of things together with our weather statements. Now, uh, recently I was in Guatemala, and uh, they, they were telling me in December it's very hot there, very hot in Christmas, uh, which I find to be uh, really different from me. Um, and it stays about the same temperature all year long. So how would you say in Guatemala, in February, it's nice weather? En Guatemala, in February, is en febrero. Right, hace buen tiempo. Very good. Now, I encourage you to start getting those weather phrases, the days, the months. Get those in your word bank and in your mind. And I promise you, if you practice them enough, you won't even have to think about them anymore. You'll just know them. And that shows you're getting really good in Spanish. So get out there. As I told you before, make some new friends, some new Spanish-speaking friends. Talk about the weather. Talk about anything you can and practice your Spanish.